You know, this is FF episode 1483, 1483, and you know you can call me whenever here at Cafe Anyway at 336-MM-DAILY. Cafe Anyway, yeah! Mike's Daily Podcast. Cafe Anyway. Anyway. My name is Mike Matthews, broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley Mont, the last place on earth. Today we'll hear from, let's see, Madame Rudabega Valentino, Vice and Bentley. I had another wonderful day yesterday filled with uh, the pain inside my foot from a stress fracture years ago. Mike's Daily Podcast. Months ago, actually. And that was sometimes years, months all blend in together, don't they? Mike's Daily Podcast. I was thinking about this topic that we've been hearing lately called sexual harassment. That is something that seems to me what mass the stent Harassment? What rhymes with harassment? That's a sass watch. No. Mike's Daily Podcast. No, there's nothing that rhymes with harassment. That's what we found out right here. And harassment is horrible and evil. Mike's and no one should do it. Daily and I think podcast. I have probably Yeah. Have I ever been harassed? No. Have I? No. I mean that would take like a really like a could there be a woman? I guess a man could harass me sexually. No, that hasn't happened, thankfully. But I don't like it happening to anyone else. So I don't understand. They've done so many sexual harassment training seminars. Look who walked in. At so many places, even NPR. And they are the victim of a sexual harassment issue right now. So it's something... That here's here's what I wanted to say. Well, first off, I'll say hi to this person. Hello, Michael Marsh, it's my double the bigger. I just walked in, but we're talking about how nothing rhymes with harassment. If you went to a class bent. Yeah, see? Look who else walked in. Hello, Mike. This is Valentino the Banking Attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike. <laughs> We're really sad about Chris Christie and that he is no longer the governor date. Yeah, Chris Christie. Do you know that? Wow, guys. Well, you'll have to be his big fan and follow him on Instagram and be his friend forever since he is now going to be set out on a... And here's today's podcast picture. Iceberg and sent off into the horizon. The podcast picture today is an iceberg on the horizon. No. Oh, what shall we do today? So we had yesterday me at Fairmont Ridge looking all dapper and whatnot. Oh, should we do this one, Sunset? The thing is, I have lots of pictures of... Oh, I could post this picture of the roast pig at my ex-brother-in-law's wedding. But that might offend some of my vegetarian friends. And I have lots of vegetarian friends. I had a vegetarian girlfriend for a while. She tried to get me into not ever eating meat again. And I was able to do it for a little while. But then suddenly I had massive cravings for fried chicken. And that was the end of me. Uh, I think I will post this picture of a little walkway... In Carmel. There we go. I've made my decision. Leave tonight or live and die this way, Tracy Chapman said. My point being that MikeStillyPodcast.com is the wonderful website where you can see all the past podcast pictures and hear past shows. And there's also a link to Amazon if you're going to buy anything on Amazon, which I almost did yesterday. I almost bought a little extra memory disc for my Samsung phone. But then someone at work told me, no, I got one. I'll bring it for you. So I don't need it. Because, man, they're expensive. They're like 30 bucks for those tiny little things. So anyway, if you're going to buy anything on Cafe Anyway on Amazon, 
Anyway. Go to mikesdailypodcast.com first and click on it, and you help us out that way. Hey, there's also a link just below that to Pinterest. If you're Pinteresting and you like to Pinterest pin things, pin away, there's a link there. And I think all the pictures on my website you're able to pin to Pinterest if you would like. There, you can see all those podcast pictures at mikesdailypodcast.com. There's also a donate button for PayPal if you'd like to do that and help us out that way. You can. There's a zillion places to listen to the show. Uh, I type up a little thing about each show. And you can go back all the way, I think, to 2009. Is that when we first began? Yeah, March 2009. You can go all the way back there and see past shows and whatnot. Hey... Hey, what can I say? I have a woman and she won't treat me bad. Yeah. The, my point being, ooh, there's a shark. A fi- who, who lip synced at the CMAs? Garth Brooks lip sunk at the 2017 CMA Awards? Holy crap. Now I'm mad. That's not good. Garth Brooks, very nice guy, very rich guy. But have we all drank the Kool-Aid? Is he in fact an evil, evil man, an evil, evil Milli Vanilli, a country Milli Vanilli? The first dreamer was deported under the Trump arrest. The Oh, the first dreamer deported under Trump was arrested again. I don't even want to click on that. Nah, I'll click on it. It says that uh, Juan Manuel Montez, 23, was caught late Monday after he was spotted on the U.S. side of the border by agents monitoring video feeds near Calexico, California. The band Calexico is wonderful. Have you ever listened to them? Calexico? Dang, that's a good band. I have a Calexico of... Pod, uh, what do you call it? Pandora page. Pandora is not doing too well after all the, uh, the all the other streaming services have popped up, and there's all these uh, internet radio stations you can listen to, and people. But still, so many people don't realize you can listen to so much through your phone. So many people still have been connected to terrestrial radio. And they don't, they just can't get into it. Well, you have gotten into it. Thank you. And as I mentioned, there was a podcast that I've been listening to that originates on the radio. And apparently now that guy is going to just go podcast only. I told someone in radio who broadcasts on the radio, who's been on the radio for like 35 years about that. And he said, oh, no, that just means he got canceled. He got canceled off the radio. Now he wants to keep doing his show, so he's going to podcast. There's nothing wrong with that, my friend. Nothing wrong with that. You know, he's probably getting a bigger audience than on the radio. Um, Hey, did you know there was another winner on Tuesday, and that was Obamacare? It Yes. The, uh, voters rebelled against Republican lawmakers who have blocked Obamacare's Medicaid expansion. Democrats are hopeful their victories are a harbinger of further gains as they look to capitalize on the law's rising popularity in polls and repeal legislation's deep unpopularity with more ballot initiatives, legislative efforts, and campaign messages. In Maine, voters passed a ballot initiative that would expand Medicaid to an estimated 70,000 residents. By a 59 to 41 margin, doing an end run around Republican Governor Paul Lepage, who has vetoed five bills to do so. He's already threatened to block the measure unless legislators can find a way to finance it without raising taxes, saying in a statement that this is fiscally irresponsible Medicaid expansion will be ruinous to Maine's budget. That according to NBC News. Well, there is something else to tell you about. And Apple is going to do a 2018 iPad redesign. Yes, for those of you with iPads. Or maybe you have a Kindle. What are they going to do? It's going to have key iPhone X features. 
It'll be slimmer, even slimmer than it is now, and have facial recognition because they love the facial recognition thing. They're all about that these days. That according to Bloomberg. Um, And so the thing about this sexual harassment is what I was going to say is I I have had a lot of male friends over the years that I don't think have the healthiest view on how to treat women. I I grew up being raised by a woman, a single mom. Um, and I have always uh, thought from the point of view of the woman, like, why would certain things that men say you have to do, that it just didn't compute. Guys saying, uh, oh, it's okay if you grab them here or touch them there. And, uh, you know, no. I just don't get, you know, some of the things I've heard guys say, like, I know within five seconds, if we're on a date, if it's not going to work, if you're not interested, and, you know, you probably know the same. And some guys are like, they don't even see those. They don't acknowledge any of the signs, and they just think that they're the biggest thing since sliced bread, and that they can do whatever they want. So that has to change, and I don't know where that that idiotic point of view with a lot of men, where that came from. It's, I guess, a lot of just the way this country has been and it needs to change, and I hopefully on this podcast can help with that change, but men have to just that we have to talk to women and hear what they want, and in the workplace... There's definitely no room for any of that, that that Harvey Weinstein crap. And finally, I wanted to say that I have uh, my foot in a boot. It's still healing. And yesterday, when we were walking, Basil the Boxer and I, there was an interesting moment when almost the exact same thing happened as the day before that caused my foot to hurt again. There was a young girl walking with two dogs. This is what happened the day before. Uh, and this, but this time, this young girl, we're on a trail and she's coming the other way and she's got these two big dogs and she's having trouble controlling them. And I said to her, I will move clear over here, clear out of the way and get out of your way. And she goes, Okay, thanks. So I'm out of the way with my dog so she can walk down the trail. All on her own and she just like lost control of the dogs one dog ran away ran over to basil and they were fine they're they they just sniffed each other and they were friends instantly as dogs do but she was with the other dog i guess which was the newer dog she had just gotten was really trying to control this dog and the dog was just barking away and she was having all kinds of issues and i was gonna shout out some possible suggestions to her but that was not going to happen. She couldn't hear me anyway. Oh, boy. So, well, that dog got away from her, the barking dog, and it didn't even go very far. It just wanted to pee on a tree. So, in the end, I think sometimes as dog owners, we think the worst. We worry a little m- too much. And in the end, you have to do things like uh, do some training beforehand, go to a dog school, get them through uh, feeding them the, the correct way. It's all about if you leave a dog bowl out all day for a dog and they start to take food for granted, then you've lost them because we really control the dogs over. I mean, we're the ones that feed them. And if they if if they're getting their food elsewhere, if they're getting too much food, if they're not, then you've lost them. If you give them a treat and say, hey, you'll get this treat if you do this thing, like sit or stay or, uh, you know, uh, come here when I say your name. And you have, you know, create the vocal commands and control that way. That's how it's all done. As we've learned in the past through the segment. The word of dog. But it takes time, it takes work, and it takes getting to know your dog. 
As we go outside a cafe anyway, where we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. But I was just like, this whole situation with that woman yesterday, the young lady, actually, she was, uh, I'm like, I'm going to have to run over here and help her. And I'm going to, but she controlled, she got the dogs under control in time. But I was thinking, I'm not going to even be able to walk today. And here I have walked here to cafe anyway and have brought you this show. Now I'm going to walk out. So enjoy your day full of whatever. It's going to be a fun Thursday, I bet. We got some rain here in the Bay Area. It's exciting. The water's coming down out of the sky. And things are going to start turning green. It's lovely. Hey, here's a suggestion. Shave your head. It works so well for me. What? You have lovely hair? Okay, then don't do it. But next show, we're going to have the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere the Engineer. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikestvpodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.